Serie A recap week 29, some big results this weekend. The teams from Milano dropping points again. The teams from Roma picking up points. Uh, we'll talk about Lazio. It's a miracle. Sari, what he's doing right now, very impressive. Uh, Juve loses. Bologna, big win against Atalanta, guys. Uh, and some big results also for the bottom of the table. Cremonese beating uh, Samp 3-2, very important. Verona winning at Sassuolo, very important as well. And Spezia, a draw against Fiorentina. Uh, precious, precious point for them. So let's take a look at the Classifica right here. So Napoli first, obviously, with 74 points. After losing to Milan, they actually win against Lecce. It wasn't their best game. They went on their own goal uh, from the uh, Lecce player, but it doesn't matter. Three points back on track. Osimhen is still not there. They lost Simeone as well. So uh, very important three points for them. They're getting closer and closer to this third Scudetto. Uh, there's no doubt about it. They will win it, guys. But uh, it only it's a matter of time. So number two, Lazio, 58 points. Lazio this season, guys, they beat Roma twice. Nel derby della capitale, they beat Napoli al Maradona, they beat Inter, they beat Milan, I think it was 4-0, and this weekend they beat Juve, uh, big victory for them. Juventus hadn't lost in a while, but uh, Allegri and Juventus were playing some very good soccer. Lazio beats them, guys. Lazio beat them. Sari, it's a uh, miracle. Nobody's talking about Lazio because of what Napoli is doing and uh, the other big teams as well. But Lazio this season, at the beginning of the season, nobody thought that they would be so good. They had an entire defense to uh, to revamp. They did. Uh, Casale, Romagnoli, some big-time players playing very, very well for Lazio. They have one of the best defense in Serie A. And Sari, everybody that criticized him, were just waiting for him to fail. He's proving everybody wrong. In third place, Roma, 53 points, guys. Roma, uh, up and down season, just like Milan and Inter. Some good games, some bad games, but they're there. They're battling for a Champions League spot. Uh, Mourinho had some harsh words uh, for Cassano as well, reminding him that he never won anything and that uh, the only thing he will be reminded for, especially in Real Madrid, is for that stupid coat that he wore when he got signed. So, uh, guys, Roma trucking along. Bad games, good games, but they're there. Milan and Inter with 52 and 51 points respectively. They lose points again this weekend. Uh, Milan, too much turnover in my opinion, going against uh, uh, Empoli and uh, 20 something shots, only four on target. Not enough for this team, not enough to score goals. Uh, Inter, Inzaghi decided to go with Correa, Lukaku. The uh, two forwards that are uh, at least in shape in the entire squad. And so uh, those are the results. They do 1-1 against uh, Salernitana, Candreva, the goal of the season. Uh, why? Because it was basically a cross and it just went in. So uh, at the 90th minute as well. So uh, some bad luck for them. But honestly, they didn't do much the entire game to go and win this game. Like they said, they deserved to win. Um, Atalanta in uh, sixth spot with 48 points, a big defeat against Bologna. Bologna, a tough team, guys. They keep on playing well, they keep on making some points. Uh, after Mihailovic, everybody said, you know what, it's not gonna work, but it's working. It's working. They're in eighth spot, uh, 43 points, only a point behind Juventus, who sits in seventh, and only um, one point, no, five points behind Atalanta who is in a European spot. That is not bad, guys. That is not bad. Juve in seventh, we said it. They lost to Lazio. 44 points. Don't forget, they have the minus 15. If ever it gets reversed, they're going all the way back up to second spot with 59 points. But uh, big loss for them this weekend. After a very good uh, positive stretch, big loss for them. Uh, Fiorentina sits at ninth spot with 41 points, a uh, tie for them with Spezia, some points lost there, but Spezia guys, uh, a very important point for them, they're battling for the relegation, so a uh, very crucial point for them. Udinese saves themselves at the end against uh, Monza, 39 points, Torino, they lose 1-0 to Roma, Calcio di Rigore di Dybala, uh, this Torino team, we can't put a finger on them, sometimes they're very good, sometimes they're very bad, a bit like everybody except Napoli, guys, sometimes they're very good, sometimes they're very bad, we don't know what happens, and that's where we're at, 
Uh, Sassuolo, 37 points. They lose to Verona 2-1 this weekend. Uh, Monza, 35. We set a tie with uh, Udinese. Empoli, 32 points. Salernitana, 29. Lecce, 27. Lecce lose to Napoli, but they could have had a tie uh, on goal against them. Spezia, 26. And then, guys, the three at the end, the three at the bottom, uh, Verona, Cremonese, and Samp. So, 22 points for Verona. Uh, Cremonese with 16 and Samp with 15. Cremonese beat Sampdoria 3-2. They surpassed them. Only six points behind uh, Verona and 10 points behind Spezia. Can they save themselves? It would be a miracle. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Can Verona save themselves? Between Verona and Lecce, only five points, guys. Um, seven points with Salernitana. So they could actually save themselves. Uh, we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. There are exactly uh, nine games left. Nine games left. That's 27 points. Uh, there's a lot of points out there, guys. Uh, but definitely Milan, Inter, uh, Roma, Lazio, Atalanta. It's going to be a big battle for those Champions League spots, those European spots. Uh, don't count out Juve, especially if they get the points back. Uh, so we'll see what goes there. And uh, next week, Milan plays against Bologna who just beat Atalanta. So, not easy. Let me know what you think. Uh, who is going to make these Champions League spots? Write in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe. Have a great, great soccer day.